Hello guys, um, YouTube, this is CD Mangeka here, and uh, first off, this cute picture of a cat, I'm just gonna use this time to talk about what this video is intended to do. I woke up one morning and wondered, you know, what? Stopping power. How much do how many guns benefit from stopping power and then what guns don't really benefit from it? Um, I'm still <laughs> coming up with this on the spot but Basically, so I decided just to go through every single gun in the game and use them with and then without stopping power to see which guns have the most benefit from stopping power and which guns are pretty okay without it this episode is going to be the assault rifles I've did every single weapon type in the game minus the launchers of course because they don't use bullets and I found some of the results to be pretty impressive, if not, you know, somewhat kind of surprising in a few cases. But the, our goal here with the assault rifles is to get the guns to be a three-shot kill at the very least. If they're a four-shot kill, we don't want that. We're going to try and make these guys like a three-shot kill or something. And these tests are done in ideal situations where you hit the guy in the upper body, you know, instead of the arm and the leg. So each shot in the, you know, in the body over and over. And we're going to see how much stopping power benefits the guns overall and then we'll review which guns are, do fine without stopping power and which guns kind of need stopping power to compete so we're looking at the assault rifles day and we're going to do the tests in these or in this exact order we're going to start off with up uh, go up we're going to start off with the m4a1 then we're going to move on to the burst fire famas as we just stare at the m4a1 there we go and then we'll look at the burst fire famas from there we're going to check out the scar h and the list goes down and onward and so much, but um, at the end of the video, I'll show, probably throw up another picture, and we'll review the guns and then kind of show you which guns you should use without stopping power and which guns you should probably use stopping power with. We got the FAL right there, we got the Burst Fire M16A4, and then we'll check out the King of the Zero Recoil Assault Rifles, the ACR, the ultimate noob gun, if you will. And then we'll go on to the probably the worst assault rifle that in the game that a lot of people consider, the F2000. And then finally, everybody's favorite Muslim terrorist gun, the AK-47. Let's get started right away. These tests were done on split screen. This was, um, and I control both characters. So, we start off with the M4A1. This is with stopping power. I do flip the test eventually, so. With the M4A1, it's a three-shot kill. Now, there is a ranged reduction of damage for all the guns. With the assault rifles, though, it's a pretty big distance. I go about as far back as this box on high rise. That box right there, right by B flag, uh, in order to do this test. And the assault rifles, their range did not decrease there, and I couldn't go any farther back without losing sight of the target because we were on split screen. So I'm pretty sure once you hit a certain range, the assault rifle damage drops to about needing an extra bullet. So with stopping power at about maximum range, the M4A1 would need four bullets. Meanwhile, at about medium range, it needs three. Now let's switch over to cold blooded class without stopping power. We fired off four shots, as you can see, we went from 180 bolts to 176, so that's four shots without stopping power. Alright, now let's switch classes again, and also have to reset up a few things, and then here's the FAMAS at about medium range. It's a one burst kill, uh, cold blooded. It's also, so there's not really much benefit of stopping power. I think it does go from a three shot to a two shot kill power as I'm trying to mimic you know his the target moving and like a bullet missing and I don't do too good of a job of it but uh, the FAMAS you might want to you know kind of use the class with cold blood because the gun is pretty accurate it's a lot more accurate than the M16 with stopping power he seemed to drop a lot faster I think it goes from a two-shot kill so if you want to run the FAMAS with the stopping with stopping power uh, go right ahead and feel free to do so, but um, otherwise cold blooded works just as well with the gun. You just have to hit him with all three bolts to drop him. And now we're going to look at the Scar H. This is a pretty heavy damage gun. This is a, uh, let's see here, with stopping power. It's got a two shot kill with stopping power, which is pretty nice. Um, at maximum range, I would imagine it goes to a three shot kill. Let's switch classes here, and then without stopping power, it's a three shot kill. So, Scar H to benefits with stopping power. If you want a real quick drop, uh, you can use stopping power and make it a two-shot kill. Otherwise, it's just fine without it. And the, the same case with the Tower 21. This is with cold-blooded. It's a three-shot kill without stopping power. And then we're going to switch to a stopping power class. Come right back up. And it's a two-shot kill with stopping power. So, you can get away without stopping power on the Tower 21, though it is nice to have. And I'll review all this information again at the end of the video. Just a, a second result is always good. One result, uh, confirmation of a myth does not make her. However, Adam said it. 
Now let's look at the F FAL, the the outsider of the um, uh, of the assault rifles. This, the first segment you saw, that segment right there, this was with stopping power, and the first segment you saw me do was without stopping power. The FAL has a two-shot kill at medium range. At long range, it probably goes to a three-shot kill. So basically, the FAL has no benefit of stopping power whatsoever. Now let's move on to everybody's favorite noob gun from noob gun from COD 4, the M16. With looks like without cold with cold blooded, without stopping power, that is. It's a one burst kill. It is a little less accurate than the FAMAS, though. So you might want to run stopping power with it. Uh, stopping power, I believe, makes it a two-shot kill. It's hard to test the burst fire weapons though, because well, they're burst fire. With stopping power, I think it's a two-shot kill. And but you probably want to run the M16 with stopping power because the the spray of the spread of the bullets is a little more uh, is larger than the FAMAS is, and so you can get a couple of bullets to miss. So stopping power with the M16 is probably the way to go. We do a f we can kind of do a bad sweep right there, but um that's the M16. Now let's move on to the ACR, the noob gun. This is with uh, cold blood, I believe. Yep. Like the M4A1, it's uh, also a four-shot kill without uh, stopping power. Now we're going to move to a stopping power class and see what happens there. It's a three-shot kill. So, so far as we're seeing, stopping power seems to take away one bullet at medium range. That takes to um, uh, drop a guy. Again, we have a three-shot kill. If we were to back up at the maximum range, it would probably be about a four-shot kill with stopping power, whereas without it, it would be a five shot. The F2000 is also similar to the ACR and the M4A1 in that it is also a four shot kill without stopping power. We got four shots right there. Now we're gonna do a class with stopping power. We're gonna kill myself and then video cut right here. With stopping power, it goes from a four shot kill to a three shot kill. So, you know, I think, I'm pretty sure we're all picking up on the pattern here, but I'm just putting out the video footage just to show everybody, you know, Here's the evidence. And now everybody's favorite gun, the AK-47, the last assault rifle unlocked. This is without stopping power. It's a three-shot kill, like the SCAR H and the TAR-21. So what happens when we put it on with stopping power? Well, let's see once we do one more test to confirm. It is a three-shot kill without stopping power. Now with stopping power on, like the SCAR H and the TAR-21, it goes from being a three-shot kill to a two-shot kill at medium range. At maximum range, it would probably go to a three-shot kill instead of a four-shot kill. And so that is the evidence of stopping power on the assault rifles. Okay, now we're going to use this time right here. I'm going to throw up another picture so I have a little more time in this video to talk. Just about um, the evidence in which we have uncovered with the assault rifles. Stopping power on all the assault rifles minus the FAL takes the bullet damage and reduces it by one. Guns with four shot kills include the F2000, the ACR, and the M41. These guns pretty much need... I repeat, need stopping power in order to compete with the other assault rifles. So if you have a, so I recommend running those three guns with stopping power rather than another perk such as uh, like cold blooded or like lightweight. Three shot kill guns include the AK-47, the SCAR H, and the TAR-21. That's without stopping power. With stopping power, those three guns go down to a two shot kill. So uh, you can get away using those guns without stopping power. Um, stopping power just makes them a little more beastier, but uh, for have, being a three-shot kill gun without stopping power, you can get away with that and run another perk such as cold-blooded or lightweight or danger close or whatever suits your fancy. The burst fire weapons such as the FAMAS and the M16, um, it kind of depends. The FAMAS's accuracy, improved accuracy over the um, M16 makes it uh, require stopping power less. I used, I personally use the FAMAS without stopping power and generally get uh, pretty and am pretty successful with it. I run cold blood on that class. The M16, you might need stopping power just because the spread of the bolts is not as tight. I would recommend running stopping power on that. The, they both go down to a two-shot kill with the burst, so you can miss one shot and still pretty much drop a guy. The FAL, you don't need that gun. Don't even think about stopping power on that. It's a two-shot kill all around. You're better off running a different perk like Hardline or something on the second slot. The FAL has no benefit from stopping power whatsoever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope that was pretty definitive on um, what guns benefit from stopping power, what guns really kind of can get away without stopping power. Expect the next episode to be the submachine guns. Later.